Hey, Izzy, we haven't seen you for a few weeks. Uh, how's everything going? Good, everything's on. Um, pretty much the same as every camp. You know, you get to this point, um, you see the finish line, and you just keep heading towards the finish line and don't trip up on the way. Stay focused, yeah. Um, when we've been talking before, you've been saying this one's going to be a bit different, and you're going to be more dynamic, you're going to do all this. Um, I just wonder if you, is Eugene had the word with you yet? Because I'm pretty sure he's going to say, Israel, when you get in there, winning is the most important thing. Oh, yeah. Like, and win without yeah. receiving any damage. Yeah, that, oh, that's, that's the plan. We are both on the same page. I just add my own flavor to it. That's <laughs> all. I just add my own, my own spice, my spice and bits in it. So, um, yeah, same plan as always getting there and win but I'm going to win in emphatic fashion, yeah. Yeah, and, and to do that, do you have to put yourself in the 50-50 zone? Um, what do you mean by that, 50-50? Well, you know, like, uh, 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 to get close enough to... Oh, yeah, def oh, yeah. yeah, the range, yes, yes, yeah. yes. Oh, I, I thrive in that range. Um, a lot of people, you can look at some of my past fights, you know, even in kickboxing. People think I just, you know, point fight or I can stick and move. They haven't really done the study on me yet. I can, I can bang with the best of them, so... Yeah, if um, we're in 50-50, um, it's, it's, it's going to be an illusion, put it that way. It's going to be an illusion for him. So he's going to be seeing mirages, yeah, when he thinks it's 50-50, when it's actually 30-70. Um, something I want to say, Izzy, um, at this stage, fight week's the biggest week in the year for all the UFC. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> nobody would, I think people would expect you to be concentrating on yourself, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard it the, when I was watching King in the Ring mm -hmm. that you were taking the three Bucky boys. Yeah. And I just, um, I've got a lot of new subscribers in the yeah. last year. Okay. And yeah. I'd just like to explain that uh, one of your closest and hardest sparring partners mm -hmm. was murdered in Auckland a year ago. And um, you're taking his brothers for mm -hmm. fight week. And yeah. I just think it's marvelous. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, it's not just them, but like for them, pretty much it's just um, a change of scenery, um, something refreshing, something because you know they've given so much to me. So it's my way of giving something back to, to, to people who've given so much to me and also planting seeds because these experiences, man, there's something special. So I, I, I can't just express them myself. So I bring the people who took me to the top with me. So yeah, I mean, I keep the same energy, that's what it is, yeah. You know, it, it's great and it's something that you've been doing for a while because uh, when we went over to watch the, uh, your first fight Just with Whitaker, yeah. and um, I took my older son with me and he, we went into the venue early and he said, oh, there's Kyle Gallagher over there. Yeah. So, um, my boy Kyle, yeah. I, we watched him and he went up and had a look at the cage and then went back and sat down and, and he was on his own and I said, oh, we'll go over and keep him company. Yep. For a bit. And uh, it came out in the conversation that mm. he said, oh, I was just going to watch it at home. But Izzy gave me a call and said, come over, I've got a ticket for you. Yeah. So uh, I mean, have been doing this sort of thing for a long yeah. time. Yeah, and I mean, the Vaki boys aren't the only people I've got. I mean, I don't do these things for all this. I so that's that, why I keep that's it. That's what yeah. I'm saying. I've never so been like, there's, it's not just them. There's a few other people I like, just feel like some of these kids here are hardworking. They have dreams of being in the position that we're in, whether it be, you know, one PFL, you know, or any other organization. So I want them to see, you know, what it's like behind the scenes for us during fight week on the biggest fight card of the year and just plant seeds, you know, and these kids that are, they, they water it themselves and glow and they grow it and let it blossom so they can tend those gardens themselves. But I'm just trying to plant seeds. And with Kyle, he's my first sparring partner. So for that fight, I was like, you got to be there. You can't just watch it at home. You got to be there. So I, I flew him out and yeah, made sure you had a good time. Well, mm -hmm. it's good to see that you're so compassionate and you're still you. Uh, always, and, man. Uh, Thanks, brother. You know how it is. Yeah. Easy. Appreciate we'll see you when you get back, man. All right. As always, another one. I tell you, another one. You already know. <laughs> Easy. Let's go. Good on you, brother. Thank you, sir. Easy. <laughs> oh, here's your mic. Oh, I remember this time. Normally, I always run away with the mic. <laughs> I always just forget. Good on you, man. Sorry, bro. See you when you get yeah, back. Definitely, man. More gold. Good on you. <laughs>